So uh, yeah, we ditched Tampa with a lot of wind. So I'm out here today in the Isla Morada area. First time fishing it. And it's the first time we didn't have winds blowing. Uh, water's about 70. We looked for Barracuda early. Uh, then I decided to do what I like to do. And while well, we jigged structure, we ended up jigging metal today on uh, inshore structure. So cool stuff. So here it is. All right, so that's the edge of the deeper water right there. You can see how the current's moving over there. Coming through. All right, well, this ex looked extremely interesting to me. This is definitely a heavy set of structure out here. Jigging, casting, man, at night. I can only imagine what goes down here at night. I don't know if they get inshore gag grouper here. Water being 70, that is gag grouper territory. Snook, right? Punani. Seems like Isla Morada and all these keys are very random places. But things happen kind of randomly. Catch lots of fish here, but like, yeah, it could be a little tough to figure out. No sharks, no, no fish. Ooh, I had a little tap there, but it wasn't anything big. Now I'm just having a hard time understanding what the deal is like. Like little fish should be biting all over these old, uh, uh, this is all just old, an old bridge, right? And we didn't even get like, I uh, gave my girlfriend a little metal jig. I put on a swim shed to start, you know, maybe jacks or small something. Mm -hmm. Just hold on to it, hold on to me. So I can give you, I'll be done in two seconds here. Here you go. That's gonna be question of the day. Yeah, get try on that last one there. I had to have like two bites, but they felt like what I was using was too big for them. Maybe that's gonna. I think I'm gonna go over here because the water is calmer. All right, whatever you need. Oh baby, what's that? Hey, hey. Oh, that one's keeper. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Mangrove's gotta be 10 inches to keep. I'm pretty sure that's a 10. I mean, I kinda wanna keep bigger than that though, I'm not gonna lie. But, oh, fuck, he could bite pretty hard. Being a Florida tourist, step one, get bit by a mangrove snapper. All right, it's 11. You want fresh fish tomorrow? You want fish for dinner tomorrow? All right, we can keep a couple. Move to another one if you don't get any more bites. I use this Gomuku jig. The Gomuku. That's cool, look at that. This one's a little more sketchy to fish. Ooh, missed him. That might have been a decent fish. Now, really what I should do is drop a live bait somewhere here on some of these. And there would probably more than likely be something decent on there. A little Jack Creval would be awesome, but mangroves. Oh yeah, son. What's that? Nice. Same one? You think you can handle him? It's another mangrove. How many am I allowed to keep? All right, makes it two keeper mangroves. <laughs> I think that might be a mangrove also, yeah. Hang on. Oh, oh my God. Oh, sorry. Help, help me, help me. Hang on, hold it, hold, just hold it. Hee <laughs> hee, what a cluster. All right, you got it? Okay, so pull me in. No, we're pulling each other, don't worry. Grab him like that, underneath, under. Oh, okay. So you cut cusp his belly, he'll bite you. you yeah, I saw his teeth. He bit me. I was you like, did? yeah, it got, oh, and it, it, it hurts. But yeah, that's it. Ah. All right. Okay, here, hold this second while I get. Yeah. There's, I think there's plenty of those. We're allowed to keep five per person, so I figure we'll keep five. I, see what you have. I got two. No, not yet. Getting the mangrove. I'm using a Gomuku jig. It's three quarter ounce. 
Uh, she's using a Jigging World slow pitch jig. I mean, we're not catching, we're doing tourist stuff. So anything that bites is good for either one of us, honestly. Um, like I haven't seen much life in the channels, maybe at dusk, we'll take a look again. We absolutely wouldn't mind some fresh snapper for dinner, so fine with that part too. I think the bigger ones would be in the current, not like the leaves. My guess. Yeah, I think so. What's that? That's good. Oh, that's a good fish. Get out of there. Get out of there. That's a snapper. It's a good one. Oh, yeah. Nice one. That's also a mangrove. It's a jumbo one right there. Oh, sweet. All right, that's the biggest mangrove of the day so far. So some of these in the mangroves the other day. Man, these things are nasty. Cool. So I'm gonna tell you something. I think the bigger ones are in the front of the face in the current. It seems like the smaller ones are back there. I think a lot of the little fish are gonna be behind it because that's where it's easy to get out of the current. So if you're a small fish, you don't want to fight the current, you go right behind there. But if you're a big fish, you can handle the current and, and over here is going to be your your ambush point where there's a little more current. Because a little fish is going to be helpless. You know what I'm saying, bruh? Hey guys. Oh, you got three? Yeah. Nice. I want to keep doing this. It's fun. Should be something big somewhere here too. Like, not snapper, like tarpon or something like that. Like meow? Like meow? Uh, this is basically a lot of, you know, jigging, jigging, right? Gotta get fish, gotta get close to these pilings. Drop the jigs down and select the right size weight. Um, it seems like they're actually a little more particular what they're hitting. Like, they weren't hitting gulp that well. Um, I'm surprised we haven't picked anything yet else yet, like a jack revol, a snook anything besides mangroves on this stuff. Whoa! What is that? Uh -huh. Yeah, that's a look now. Wow. Cool, right? Oh, man. That's super cool. Everything eats those things, I think. I th I'm guessing. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> That's a good one. No question about that one. Not bad. Oh, snap. That's a good one. Oh, Jack Craval. Where has he been? Where has he been all these days? I was like, wait, I was expecting them. What's that look like? Ooh. They don't taste good. Yeah. A small one like this isn't bad, but we'll put them back. That's just... Remember those big ones I was catching in that video the other week? Yeah. Yeah, this is a little one. Don't face that way. It's going to be tough. Holy snap. We up. That, that's like, yeah, I'm telling you, you're gonna, it won't work out. You gotta be facing the current. 11.
Oh, giant butterfly ray. Yeah, we can take a look. That's what I was thinking. We, we got these rocks and we got those rocks. So that's kind of what I was thinking to do next. Let me come drop off these fish to you. And then we, uh, we'll do that. Let's just try here along the rocks quick here. I mean, try this one, I try this one. I had my camera off. I was just jigging along the bridge here. Decent sized jack. Fun fish as always. Jack. Oh, really a hot ticket was the Gomuku jigs and the slow pitch jigs. I worked around this area trying to catch something else for a little bit. Another jack or something like that. No, no dice. So one tarpon roll around and I haven't seen a barracuda. We took a look on some of these grass flats earlier and I, no, they're just not there. That was kind of what I had in mind was the pop barracuda. And I think we, we resorted to the contingency, which was to uh, just jig, jig structure. Did you have fun, Meg? Did you have fun? What a good amount of fish, too.